with all this social distancing and quarantining going on, we continue to order eggs and incubators. We wanted some ducks, and we wanted some different ducks. We wanted ducks that not many other people have had, but we also, we don't ever want to get an animal that doesn't, you know, it's not going to sustain something. It's not going to, you know, it's going to be more of a chore. As we've talked to family and stuff, and we tell them what animals we have, and so we're like, man, you guys should get one of these. And, you know, it's like, it's a farm, not a petting zoo. It's okay. You know, every animal has its place. It's okay to have pets. We're looking at getting our farm started, so we want to make sure we make the right choices when we get animals. So far, so good. <sighs> Sorry. He always tells me I get a little long-winded. That's the cue to shh. So anyway, what we've got here today, and we can't show you any live ones, but I'll roll in some pictures and still shots and whatnot. The Welsh Harlequins. Ta-da! Ta well, these are Welsh Harlequin eggs, but... Yeah. They're about the size of a khaki Campbell. They are rare. They are a heritage breed, rare-ish. We're stinking excited. We've got uh, 16 of them, and they will be right next to our AM Samani eggs. We bought the exact same incubator because we already know how to use it. Can me do it? Okay. Go for it. <laughs> be safe with a knife. Okay, we're good. Got it. Um, That's pretty cool. It's interesting the way people package eggs. Now, Case has never seen a duck egg. No. So I want him to see how big it is. There you go, hold that. So this is obviously an olive egg from one of our chickens. And that's a Welsh harlequin egg. <laughs> Whoa. So that's pretty cool. So speckled Sussex eggs are kind of notoriously small. Even though they're a big bird, they eat a lot of food and it's the only chicken wings I've had to cut. There's a speckled Sussex egg next to the Welsh Harlequin. Wow. It's pretty cool. And I just want to share too, um, if you guys mark on your eggs, uh, eggs are extremely porous. Um, especially when you're talking about eggs that you're trying to hatch. Crayon, that's the way to go if you're going to mark them. And duck eggs usually are a little bit dirtier because that's how ducks roll. Mm. So we've got one that's already cracked. Uh oh. Yeah, probably probably toss that one. I just don't want to run the risk of uh, it busting. Because we did inspect those. I know I didn't show up, but we inspected those. I am Samani. I am Samani. I am Samani. Just call them the Samani eggs. Samani eggs. We inspected the Samani eggs. So we definitely want to make sure these are good to go. And this. There's another one that's cracked. Hmm. So out of 16, so far we've got 10. Oh. 10 that aren't cracked. Hey, this one was very clean <laughs> compared to all of the brothers and sisters. Here's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Yep, so we have 14 out of 16 show up that we can uh, put, that I'm comfortable with putting in the incubator. Because the others were not. Let me get one. What's the other crack one? Oh, yeesh. So, now I know some of y'all that have been doing this a while, I've seen people put tape over this, but that is quite a, quite a dent. I've seen people put a, tape over it, super glue, etc., but... Since we've got 16 eggs, I'm not gonna worry about, you know, eking out two more. So, you can see that one's pretty bad. But we got these, so it's okay. Yep. I know. 
how it works now because I can feel the heat coming up. So I'm trying to go quick. You'll just have an extra one. That's my only complaint about this incubator, guys, is right here and back here, there's two little tabs, and if you don't get them on the money, the lid ain't, the lid's not going on, which means your temp's not gonna come up and your humidity's not gonna hold. And you don't know it for a little bit, so. I am going to candle some of our AM Samani eggs. Samani eggs, how about that? So we did switch the spots of the incubators. So duck eggs are here, chicken eggs are here. So we're going to candle our chicken eggs on the ducks. Also, if you want daily updates on our hatchings, then please make sure you go follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.